Hi everyone, so I was recording a song in LMMS, that is Linux Multimedia Studio, and uh, it crashed. Um, it, that's actually normal, your Linux LMMS uh, crashes. It crashes a lot, um, it's buggy, but it's a good, good free piece of software. So this is the way that I went about getting that file back and um, I was basically, the reason why it crashed by the way was that I was trying to export the file from LMMS to, uh, you know, so I have a working audio file, like a WAV file, um, but it wasn't working. Um, so here's the workaround to when you are ready to export. So. When you're done with all your editing and you are ready to export, here's the simple workaround. So let me launch it. Um, here you go. And here. Putting it up here. Um, you'll notice that the, as I said, it's glitchy. Um, it's saved with a glitch. And now I uh, pretty much have to do this every time I open this up. Uh, just do that and do that. The glitch is gone. Um, here we go. So this is the song. bars it's not really anything long um, it's really more of a loopy type song where um, once it reaches this section and it starts back up here it's okay so I can I can basically just loop it over the like a, like background music without having to um, do like a full song like a good five minute or so song you know yeah so it's a it's a loop <laughs> it's a 24 bar loop so anyway, um, let's get to the business. So I'm going to launch Audacity. Audacity is how you do it. So here, here's how you do it. So by default, um, you are using this. Uh, you're using Alsa on Linux, on Linux in general. You're using Alsa or Pulse Audio. Pretty much the same thing, right? Um, when you have Jack installed, which is the best way to work with audio, audio production, audio editing, um, audio design, yeah, just working with audio, it's best to have Jack Audio or Jack D installed. So I have it installed and I'm using a specific program here that makes it a little bit easier to use Jack. Um, it is Cadence or Cadence, however it's going to be, wants to be pronounced. I, I just go with Cadence. Um, it is from the KX Studio um, bundle uh, software. Um, KX Studio, by the way, is uh, basically a distribution, a Linux distribution um, or operating system for those people who's wondering what that is. Um, that uh, you know, it's centered around audio video production really audio production um, yeah so I'm using one of the applications that it comes with it's a great application uh, let me just close it out here because I don't actually need to be seeing it so what I was saying earlier is that in, uh, in Audacity um, ALSA is actually selected by default with Pulse uh, all that right now, because I have Jack Audio installed, I can actually use this where it says Jack Audio Connection Kit. I go ahead and click on that, and it gives me the option of Pulse Audio Jack Sync or LMMS. Now, the reason why LMMS actually shows up is because I have it open. So I go ahead and click on it right there, and 
now I can basically do things from here with LMMS. Now, one of the features of uh, Audacity is that it can record your system audio and or the microphone. So, I'm going to go ahead and record the system audio. Um, I am almost sure I'm going to get a problem here because it's not something I tested before. But I think I'm going to need to find out how to disable the uh, mic I'm using right now. I'm actually just using the system mic, the built-in system mic on my laptop. Uh, so that's why I sound awful. But anyway, uh, let's see. I leave this at system because if I change it to that, then it, it, it records both my, my voice and the... Um, and the desktop audio. I just want desktop audio, so I'll leave it at system. And uh, let me go ahead and hit record. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything showing up, which means that it is not recording my voice, which is good. Now let's go ahead and press play. Notice the difference. Now it's recording that. Now after this is all finished, Playing. Let me just let it finish. Okay, then I go ahead and hit stop here, and it stops recording. So I can go ahead now and select uh, from the end there, and go all the way to the beginning of the recording, which is right here, right? Then I go ahead and choose copy, just click anywhere on the timeline here, don't actually select anything. Just uh, click on the timeline, make it have that one vertical bar, not the uh, not the box like a selection, and then you just hit delete, uh, remove all of that, and paste. So you get your new uh, audio file here, and now all I have to do is, of course, just go to File, Export Audio, and as I've already done this, I already have a FLAC file. Uh, that's a lossless, free. Um, audio file that, you, that anyone can use um, so and of course as I said it's lossless so the the file is always in perfect condition I also exported a WAV file as you can see this is 9.2 megabytes and this is lossy meaning this file can actually get corrupted in the sense that uh, the audio can get distorted or as a matter of fact um, the audio did get distorted uh, for the first save which is odd I don't know why it's a matter of the fact that I chose the 16-bit the 32-bit flow point that's that's actually really high for just an audio file so I was never going to choose that anyway um, I went ahead and chose FLAC which as you can see is 3.6 megabytes and loss less. That doesn't make sense to me. It should be, uh, even though it was uh, in the mid mid section of the compression. By the way, flag files are compressed files. But anyway, um, I just went ahead and saved it. I'm gonna put like an iteration to this because uh, I don't want to actually save over the old file. Um, so there you go. Uh, save. Um, Creative a party, that's my name. This is an intro file, uh, not linked to any album or track number. This is the year 2016. Uh, I really don't know what genre of music, music that was. All I know is it's a beat for me. 
um, yeah, created in, in here. Uh, this says Linux created in Linux Multimedia Studio LMMS FLOS or FOSS Freedom. Yeah, that basically just means free and open source software, right? Um, yeah, go ahead and save. It gives me this little error. Um, not sure what the hell it's about, but whatever. Oh, this time it actually gave me the dialog box. The last time it just exported so quickly I did not see it. But anyway, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.